the Aviation Museum near Beijing honors past battles of the People's Liberation Army, like celebrated MiG victories over U.S. fighter jets in the Korean War. The self-guided tour moves at a steady pace, but lately China's military maneuvers are far more rapid. And top U.S. lawmakers say that America and its allies' interests in the region are at considerable risk. Over a buildup of Chinese assets in the South China Sea, the satellite images show extraordinary transformations. It's what a U.S. commander calls the Great Wall of Sand. I mean, since the last uh, probably 14 to 18 months, we've really seen China go from zero to absolutely uh, a, a large number of islands which previously didn't exist on reefs and sandbanks that it's, it occupies and controls in the South China Sea. The South China Sea is a commercially vital stretch of water sprinkled with hundreds of islands and reefs. Nine countries and territories claim at least some of those islands, but China says it has a historic claim over it all. Uh, within China's sovereignty and territorial waters, China has the right, an undisputed right, to do whatever it wants to do. But the U.S. says China is stoking tension. Take Fiery Cross Reef, claimed by China and the Philippines. This is in August last year, and this is in March. China says the islands are for mostly civilian use, with some military protection. But analysts say you can clearly see a military-grade runway being built. Previously, China was seen as a continental power. You know, it was very much interested in what happened on the ground, on the land. Now it's, uh, it's much more interested in what's happening at sea. As it builds islands in the South China Sea, he says there could be no easy way to curtail China's future military ambitions in the region, whatever they may be. David McKenzie, CNN Beijing.